It has been two months since Hurricane Matthew left behind a trail of destruction here. St. Augustine had much of that damage as Matthew's eye walls skirted the city. Now we're learning just how much the hurricane cost the city as a new dollar amount has been made public. Channel 4's Ethan Calloway is joining us live from the heart of St. Augustine with more on that, Ethan. Yeah, you know, Tom, we've heard a lot since Matthew about the impact the storm had on homes and businesses, but the city itself really took a financial hit. And tonight, for the very first time, we're hearing just how big of a hit that was. The cleanup efforts moved quickly. Here in St. Augustine, a city heavily dependent on tourism for its economic health. But while much of the city appears to be returning to normal, the financial burden is still very much here for city government. We've estimated our damages right now at around $7 million. Those are estimates only. $7.1 million in estimated costs for the city alone. Meredith Bridenstine is Director of Budget and Performance Management for the city. She spent the last 60 days compiling the cost of Matthew's damage and the cleanup that's followed. It's all been a surprise as we go along, I should say, just because it's been a long time since we've faced any storm like this, but especially one this size. From a damaged fishing pier and marina to landscape Escaping and emergency services. Hurricane Matthew took a serious financial toll on the city of St. Augustine, with one cost in particular standing out. I believe the debris cost were probably a surprise from our first initial look at things. Um, those costs have been high, but we feel like we've done everything we needed to do to get the debris moved as quickly as possible. Bridenstein says even with the volatile nature of the tropics, the city was ready for Matthew and will be ready for any other hurricanes in the future. Well, fortunately, we do have emergency reserves that we have always maintained. So we do feel like we have been prepared so that if any unexpected costs arise, we can handle those. Now, the city says the next step is to present these numbers to FEMA. Officials say at least 75% of the estimated dam damage costs will be submitted for potential reimbursement. There is no official timeline at this point on how long it could take to see that funding for the city of St. Augustine. But that city official you heard from in that report says it could be, quote, a long time. We're live in St. Augustine tonight. I'm Ethan Calloway, Channel 4, the local station.